Hey everyone, this is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I just wanted to take a quick minute to let everyone know that the Northwind Traders 2.0 template has finally been released. If you're not familiar with it, Northwind Traders is a database that's been with Access since the early days. In fact, the original 1.0 version was something that I personally myself used to learn a lot about Access back in the day. And back in the day, it was like 1994 or 5. Northwind plus a copy of the Access Bible at the time. That's how I learned Access, by reading that book and by tearing apart that database. So if you want to learn more about what goes on under the hood in Access, I mean, A, obviously you want to watch my videos, but B, get a copy of the Northwind Traders template. Now, there are two versions of the template available. There's a starter edition for people who are just learning access and you want to see what features are available, what access can do, get a good idea for a starter access database. And then there's a developer edition, which has a lot more features in it, has a lot of VBA code you can go through. And again, that's one of the ways that I personally learned how to program in VBA, but was by looking at all the VBA in the Northwind database originally and the macros and all the, the tables and the forms and the relationships and all that stuff. So how do you get a copy of either of these templates? Well, when you start access up, don't open a database, just start the application. You should see it right there. There they are, they just pop up right for me. If they don't show up on this menu for you, then either A, you're running a version of access earlier than 2016, sorry, it's 2016 and later. So if you got 2013 or earlier, it's time to upgrade, guys. I keep telling you that. Or B, I have heard that uh, through the, the, the different forums that I follow that some of the foreign language versions don't show it. So you might have to switch to English in order to see these. Um, if you don't see them, you can also try clicking on more templates and then searching here for North Wind, one word, and to see if it pops up. And there it is for me. There's the legacy one. There's the old one. You want to try that one, too. The old one had a lot of, I don't know, what I would consider rookie mistakes in it. Like it's got uh, spaces in the field names, things like that. And a lot of those types of things have been fixed in the new version. So that's very good. But pick whichever one you want to play with. If you're a beginner, if you're an absolute beginner, if you're in my beginner lessons, then I'd pick the starter edition. If you're a developer, if you've been using VBA for a while, you might want to get the developer edition, poke around through it. Just click on it. All right, there it is. Pick where you want it to go. I'm going to drop it on my desktop. So I'll go to desktop. And we'll just change this to NW1. Hit OK. Hit Create. And this little thing will have it. It's preparing the template. It's downloading the components. It's building everything for you. The tables, the queries, all that stuff. And then you get Welcome to the Northwind Starter Edition. Now, these are not meant to be databases that you will use in a real life production setting. I mean, you could use them as a jump off point to start your database with, but these are designed to kind of showcase access as features. They're not really for like running your business. Although these templates are a lot of other databases I've seen out there that are supposed to be for running businesses. These are actually built by access professionals. So you know they're built right. They do have some videos. I strongly recommend you watch their starter videos. I'm not going to take the time now to go through a lot of the features in here because their videos already do a really good job of that. So go watch the videos. Uh, they promise it'll be well worth it. And it is. I've watched most of them. So check them out. They got a really nice help system online too. All right, but just click continue. Put your name in. Uh, what am I? The guru extraordinaire who can't spell extraordinaire. <laughs> All right, hit add me. This is just this is just stored in your database. This doesn't go anywhere, right? This database isn't connected to anything online. They're just basically setting you up a user account. And there you go. Now, if you follow my classes at all, I don't use the tab to interface where you get the tabs across top. I like the windows, but you know, whatever you like, it's just a matter of style preference. They use the tabbed document interface and it's it's pretty cool. You can click on the IDs over here, open up individual records. Their forms are very well designed, nice and clean, good interface. All right, there's lots of help throughout. You can click on the little I button over there, All right? That takes you to the web and opens up their help interface. Lots of stuff you can read in here, right? 
right? Good use of combo boxes and all kinds of good. There's a lot of good stuff in here. I'm going to be going through some of the additional features in future videos. They got nice groupings over here in the navigation pane. And again, I personally think the navigation pane is for you, the developer. I never let my end users see this, but it's a great tool for you guys. And like I said before, there's the starter version and there's, here's a developer version. I downloaded this one earlier too. And you can see there's lots more stuff in here, right? Additional groups and some, some other like linked tables type stuff, right? And there's more VBA code in this one. So again, if you're still learning access or even if you're an experienced developer and you want to see what other professional developers put in their projects, download these templates, play with them, uh, check them out, tear them apart, learn from them. In fact, in, in going through the developer one, I myself already picked up one tip that I didn't know before. It was just a, a different way of doing something. I'm like, wow, that's, that's really nifty. I'll be showing you what that is in a future video. I'm going to include links down below to some other articles, some release announcements, their documentation, a couple of the videos that they've already made. Um, so check all those resources out too if you wanna learn more about this. If you wanna see me make more tutorials on how to use this and what features are in it, post a comment down below, let me know. If enough of you are interested, I'll start tearing Northwind apart and we'll go through it together. Uh, I wanna give a special thanks to the entire Northwind 2 developer team and the team leader, uh, Tom Van Stepout, for giving me a sneak preview a few weeks ago before it was released. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's an MVP perk. <laughs> and like I said, I, I spent a ton of time back in the 90s tearing apart the original. So this is a fantastic resource for all of you guys who are just learning Access or are working with Access and uh, want to see an example of a really well-built professional database. So check it out, download it, and uh, tell those guys that I sent you. All right, we'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends.